Hello guys and girls, Raj here. Today we are going to show a MCP demo. So there are a lot of concepts out there for MCP, but some of the demo instructions are unclear. Uh, so I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me show you how it works. And the good thing is once you do this demo, you will be able to build on top of this. And then literally you can connect to any MCP server using any MCP client. No coding needed. So this is the scenario. Uh, so let's say without MCP, uh, you the user asks this application running LLM, hey, what is the latest price of Amazon EKS and ECS? So of course this LLM doesn't have the latest price because it probably was trained in last month's data. Ideally, it needs to access some sort of tool such as AWS Cost Explorer that AWS has provided uh, to go get the prices. And this is exactly the challenge that MCP solves. Instead of this LLM going directly to the tool using custom API connections, AWS has also given a MCP server for this AWS cost. And this application will have a MCP client. So when this application gets this prompt that what is the latest price of Amazon EKS and ECS, LLM says, mm, I don't have the latest price, but I know I have I have a MCP client which has connection with a tool which can give me this. And then MCP client will connect to this MCP server and all the connection mechanism from this MCP server to this AWS Cost Explorer is handled by this server. All you need to do is pass the credential to connect to your AWS account. So in this case, access key, secret access key and the region. So of course, we, for the demo, we need to simulate the application, MCP client, MCP server. This application, we are going to use Visual Studio Code and MCP client will be provided by Klein. However, you will see how we set it up uh, so that you can use this to connect to any MCP server. Now here is the important part that a lot of you get confused on. Where is this MCP server running? Remember, so AWS provided the package for the MCP server. Okay, and then it's on you to run it. You can run it on your local desktop or cloud, wherever you want. And in our demo, we are gonna do the easiest thing, right? Because that's cheaper as well, it's free. I'm going to run the MCP server on my laptop. Okay, so you will see MCP client running inside a client. And then I'm going to install the MCP server that AWS has given, right? And I'm gonna run it in my local machine. I could have run it in the cloud, container, whatever I want. And then we are going to do this whole flow. All right, let's get started with the demo. By the way, I'm literally recording this on Easter Sunday. So you could see it's Sunday, April 20th, almost 11 o'clock. I have an early morning flight to Amazon headquarters tomorrow. So if you like this video, if this was helpful, please show me some love, click the like button, share, put something in the comment. Thank you. All right, let's jump into the demo. Okay, first things first, we need a LLM for this. And for that, I'm going to use Amazon uh, Bedrock and I'm going to use a uh, Claude Sonnet 3.5. Uh, so in the Bedrock console, if I scroll down, if you click model access, uh, so you should see Claude 3.5 Sonnet V2. Uh, I have the access, but if you do not, you can scroll uh, You can scroll up, click Modify Model Access, and then you can select it and go scroll down next and submit, and you'll get the access in a minute, okay? The second thing you need is, uh, you need to have uh, AWS CLI installed and configured, okay? I'll, I'm gonna put a link to that. At this point, if you guys and girls have been following my channel, you know how to install AWS CLI. In brief, AWS CLI lets you connect to your AWS account from command line. So if I run AWS S3 LS to list my S3 bucket, it should be able to do that because AWS CLI is configured. Okay, so next we need to install the MCP server, right? So um, you can search AWS MCP servers and then you can go to this GitHub and then I'm gonna go to the GitHub. Okay, so I'm gonna click that. Okay, here we go. This is the available MCP servers. Okay, so this is the core MCP server. So to use this other AWS MCP servers, AWS also requires you to run this core MCP servers and then core MCP server uh, interacts with the other MCP servers. 
so I don't know why we need that right now, but maybe we'll remove it down the line. We'll see. So you can click uh, PyPy, and then this is literally the installation instructions, right? Pip install AWS Labs dot core MCP server. You also have to ensure you have the prerequisites. So you need Python 3.12 or higher. You need this UV tool, and you need AWS credentials configured with Bedrock access. So basically, uh, AWS CLI and Node.js. So I have all the prerequis prerequisite met. Uh, you can easily just do like, for example, Python dash dash version. It's going to show you the version and stuff so you can check. And if you do not have those prerequisites, make sure to go install it. Next, this is literally what installing the server, okay? Once you do this, that's it. It is gonna start running. So I'm gonna copy this command, go here, and let me make this a little bigger for you guys and girls. Here we go. Okay, so it is gonna go install it. And then for our demo, uh, I am also going to install the Amazon cost analysis server. Cost analysis. Again, I'm going to click the PyPy, click copy, go to my Visual Studio code, install this. Okay. So at this point, this server, as soon as you pip install it, it runs, okay? And it's running on my desktop. Now, I need to set up this MCP client and connect it to a, this MCP server, right? So let's do that part. Uh, so let's go to Visual Studio Code, okay? And then I'm going to click Extensions and then search for Client, okay? So this is it, the Client. Uh, click install. Okay, so this is installed and you will see this client uh, icon appear on the left. So I'm going to click that, make this a little bigger. By the way, you may get some pop-up. Make sure you select, yeah, the free tier. This is, this is all free, okay? Okay, so now you have to do one thing. By default, the LLM used is client's anthropic model. Um, so by default, this is using the Klein LLM, which you do not want. You want to use the Bedrock LLM, right? So because in future, you want to show these projects and stuff, and also Bedrock is the easiest and cheapest way. So to change that, you can simply click this Klein, and then from this API provider, select AWS Bedrock, okay? So this is the stuff that you need to fill up. See this AWS profile name? Uh, so this AWS profile name, you need to give the profile name. So you can run AWS configure list profiles, okay? So you can see I have only one profile default. So put that name default here and this will come in handy too uh, when we are connecting to the MCP server. I always use US West too. You can use any region. Just make sure whichever region you use you need to have access to the Bedrock uh, Cloud Sonnet 3.5. So if I scroll down, so I'm, I'm, I'm using 3.5 Sonnet V2. If you want, you can use 3.7 as well, but 3.7 is very popular, everyone's using it. I don't wanna hit the endpoint, so you might get throttling error. Okay, so now the LLM is all set. So now we need to create the connection from this uh, MCP client, so client is MCP client to MCP server. This part is important. Okay, so if I go here, and then I click this, this icon, right? No MCP servers installed. So you have two options here. Um, one is you click this setting icon, and then uh, you can do it yourself, right? You can click configure MCP server, and then here you have to put the JSON. So if I go um, to here, so let's say we, you have to connect to the MCP core, right? So if I scroll up, core MCP, click PyPy. If you scroll down, it says this thing, MCP servers, AWS lab, core MCP server, and then you have to give the command, and then this, right? So this should connect you to the MCP core server, but, this depends on your machine, right? So if you are in Mac, this will work fine. If you are in Windows, this will not work, okay? So I'm gonna show you, so Mac, you have Windows, let me show you, so it will work for you as well. 
okay, so I, I'm going to share this file in my GitHub. Um, so if you are in Mac, this is your core MCP server, and then this is the core server, and then this is the cost analysis server. If you are in Windows, you have to use this github.com, AWS Labs, etc., etc., along with the exe file. So this part is specific to Windows. And uh, this is the core MCP, this is the cost analysis. There is another cool way to do this, okay? So I'm going to show you. So let me just uh, do this. Let me not save this, okay? So I'm do not save. So I'm going to show you this. So if I say, if you go to marketplace, so this is the easy button. Uh, it does cost you, but few cents, not much. Might be in your free tier. From this marketplace, search AWS. Now these are the AWS MCP servers that AWS have released. So you can say core server install. And I love this part. So see, this is going to bedrock Anthropic. So this is getting all this search from the Anthropic. It is going to show you the cost. And this is also shows you the context window. So this kind of shows, so you could see the context window is huge, 200K. As you keep using the same task and just send multiple replies to it, this is kind of cool. It shows that this application cumulating everything, whatever happened before till now, and just passing it in the context window. So it says, hey, client wants to read this file, the client MCP settings. I said, all right, I approve it. So it is going to uh, read the file and see that I don't have any MCP server configured. And then it says, I want to execute this command. So it's going to create a new directory. Okay, so the directory already exists. That's why I got the error. Now it's going to check the Python version and Node.js version. Let me make it a little bigger. So this part is a little cool. And the cool thing is, if you don't have the proper versions, it will install it for you. All right, so now Klein, look how Klein is editing my MCP configuration file and it says, okay, do this. Now it is going to connect to the MCP server running on my laptop. I said, okay, let's save this. But anyway, you got the point. I'm just gonna go past the JSON that I had, right? Okay, so then I'm going to save this, Control S, updating MCP servers. Uh, so then if I click this icon again, okay, here you go, core server, cost analysis, okay? So now let's try this out, shall we? Okay, click the MCP server icon again to make it go away, and then click done, and then uh, click start new tax. And another important thing is, See this cost analysis MCP server? See, it has the AWS profile as default. So whatever profile you are using, make sure to give the name here. All right, so at this point, this is all set. We install the MCP client, which is client. We install MCP server using pip install. And then we updated the MCP settings in client to connect to this MCP server. And remember the AWS profile name, which is default, that's what's providing the access key, secret access key, and the region information to the MCP client to pass it to the server, right? So you could do that using automated way, using LLM stuff, or you can manually paste the JSON. That's what I did, I showed you both ways. Okay, so now let's ask for a cost, okay? Can you please give me the latest cost for Amazon EKS and ECS? Okay, then I press enter. So this is running in Klein. Okay, so this is the cool part. This should show what it is doing. Okay, look, I will use, okay, come on, hold on, you are too fast. I will use the cost analysis MCP server to get pricing information for both Amazon EKS and ECS, okay? So it says Klein wants to use a tool on the cost analysis MCP server, right? And then I said, do not approve anything. I want to approve everything. So then I select approve. So now see everything, the communication is happening. So client got the message. So MCP client connected to MCP server, connect, that server connected to tool got the message, right? I say, okay, go get the stuff for ECS as well. So it is getting all the raw JSON. So whenever this, these things are happening, this is all happening in basically JSON RPC. 
you don't want that raw JSON, right? You'll be like, what the heck is going on? Show me something like in a nice natural language. So now the MCP client will pass everything to this LLM and LLM will get that raw JSON, format it in nice English language and then show it to you. All right, so I'm going to click approve. All right, so see task completed. So now LLM is showing me nice formatted way with the price and everything. But this is the takeaway, okay? So you can connect to any tool that way. So let's say you are connecting to Slack, okay? Let's say Slack. So you go to Slack and Slack will say, this is how you install the Slack MCP server. So Slack will give a MCP server. So basically MCP server, I'll just put SVR. You install it, that will connect. And similarly, you will have a client, client, right? You go to that setting, you put the settings to connect to that MCP server. You have to pass appropriate credentials to connect to this Slack server which is the token and the team ID. And that way you will be able to use other tools. All right, folks, hopefully this was helpful. Ask me any questions in the comments and I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.